Now that billion dollars includes 203 million bucks that will go to this fiscal year. Louisiana's bridges have been a primary focus for those who back the bipartisan infrastructure plan. That package was supported by Senator Bill Cassidy, in which it allocated $26.5 billion for all states to fix bridges and other groundwork projects. We've not kept up with inflation, and we spend so much money maintaining something and not ever getting an opportunity to build it back new. Secretary of Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development Sean Wilson says infrastructure is costly, and it doesn't help that our material has dropped by 50% in value. The 16 cents that you pay for gas taxes, it's the same 16 cents we paid in 1990. But guess what? That 16 cents, you can only buy 7 cents worth of material in work and product. Governor John Bell Edwards thanked the Biden administration for the launch of its investment program by saying, quote, Louisiana will be well served by this program as our funding needs for infrastructure projects are immense. Now, Louisiana has a good 795 state-owned bridges, some of which, after suffering from many accidents and rust, just need to be flat-out replaced. And with all the water in Louisiana... We have over 12,777, 12, to be exact, bridges. And majority of these bridges are older than 30 years old. And a bridge that is built and designed and built needs to be replaced every so many years. DOTD says our bridges range from 45 to 65 years old, adding that in that time they weren't built for today's car weight and design. And although this funding has taken five years to get, its value will benefit almost 400 bridges in the process. Now, out of all the bridges in Louisiana that need repairs, the I-10 Calcasieu River Bridge has been called our largest priority as its entire infrastructure is older than the entire interstate system itself. In Lafayette, I'm Princess Jeanne Steverson-Lowry, News 15.